After spending tens of thousands of dollars on tools, keyboards, mice, subscriptions, apps, and software that promised to make me more productive, I realized most of them were actually making me feel overwhelmed. Somewhere along the way, we forgot the real reason why we use tools to make life easier, not more complicated. So if you wanna upgrade your life and workflow without having to spend a bunch of time and money testing different options, these are the six tools that have genuinely changed the way I work, whether they save me time or make me more productive or just make my workflow a joy. The first tool isn't actually a tangible tool, it's a system that I have adopted into everything that I do to help me keep all of the moving pieces like projects, work, life events in an organized state. It's called the Getting Things Done System by David Allen and it's essentially a productivity system that allows you to capture everything that's going on and organize them into actionable items. There are five simple steps to this system. You capture, you clarify, you organize, you reflect, and then you engage. The first step is the capture step. You essentially just want to capture or write down or note down everything that has your attention. Once you've done that, you can then clarify. So process what this thing actually means. Is it an idea? Is it something that you want to do? Is it something that you have to do? Figure out what that process is. Then you go into organizing, so figuring out where it belongs. Does it belong in my life task? Does it belong in my work task? Does it belong in a specific project? Reflecting is all about reviewing the system frequently. There's no point in creating any sort of system if you're not going to upkeep it and maintain it. So the reflection portion is actually one of the most important steps. Then you engage, which is simply to do the thing. So you've brought your idea into your system, you figured out what you want to do with it, you've created the steps, you reflected on it, now you just have to do it. It sounds simple, but the system really helped me structure how I get ideas out of my brain and turn them into actionable steps. And sometimes we just need a little bit of structure to help guide us through the process. I actually do all of this within Notion and I did design my entire Notion productivity dashboard based on the GTD system or the getting things done system. So if you want to have a Notion dashboard that uses this process without having to build one on your own, I do have a template in the description box below. While I love figuring out what systems and software work for me, some tangible tools really do improve my workflow as well. I have tried countless keyboards, mouse, different laptops, different tablets, but I always come back to these two items that now are a holy grail part of my workflow. Some of you have noticed that since I moved, I have simplified my workspace a lot. I used to have a pretty intense desk with lots of wires going into different hubs to do different things. And although it was great and it functioned really well, I just realized that it was quite unnecessary. So as I was packing up all of my things, I made a conscious decision to figure out exactly what items I actually use every single day and only bring those into my new space. Initially, I was worried that by oversimplifying, I was going to make my workflow slower. But in reality, having less things has actually made me more focused and therefore more productive. Two tools that I instantly knew I wanted to bring to my new space was my Logitech MX Master 3S mouse and my Logitech Creative Console. As somebody who does a lot of creative work, especially within tools like Figma, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, I like to have tools that complement these specific workflows and my Logitech tools do just that. The MX Master 3S mouse has by far been the best mouse that I have ever tried and I've tried a lot of them. I actually own the MX Master mouse, the very first version that they created, and have upgraded as they have upgraded. That is how much I love this mouse. Not only is it very ergonomic, meaning it's very comfortable to use for extended periods of time, and knowing me, I am sitting at my computer for sometimes like 14 to 16 hours a day, and so I don't want to have hand cramps while I'm working. But beyond that, all the other features of the mouse are also very intentionally designed. It has very quiet clicks that has a lovely kind of like haptic feeling. It has an additional scroll wheel for your thumb so that when you're working within, let's say, Premiere and you're scrolling within the timeline, you can scroll horizontally really easily. There are extra buttons that you can set for specific shortcuts. You can change the feeling of your scroll wheel, so whether you want it to be really smooth or have clicks just through a button on the mouse. They even have a button for your thumb that allows you to use Mac gestures.
textures. Like they really thought of everything for this mouse. This paired with my creative console is an absolute must for me working in the creative industry. I don't know about you, but when I'm jumping from program to program, sometimes I forget what the keyboard shortcuts are or how to find certain functions. And my creative console completely solves that issue. The button console is customizable and you can actually set profiles for each of your tools. So my Premiere one is gonna look different from my Illustrator one, from my Figma one. I can even set up actions within Notion, let's say, if I wanted to. There are a lot of pre-built profiles that you can choose from as well. So if you're somebody who is just learning to use Illustrator, for example, you can actually find all of the most commonly used tools in Illustrator in their pre-built profile. But if you're a power user like me, you can completely personalize what shows up in your Creative Console. Then we have the dial, which is so useful for making minute adjustments when I am designing or editing. Just like with the button console, you can set what each dial and button does. So there are two dials and two buttons. For me personally, I use the main dial to move around. So whether it's to move around an artboard or to move around my timeline, and then I use the second dial to zoom in. Depending on the program, I will set the buttons to do different things, but typically I like to use them to undo and redo. For anyone who's just getting into the creative industry or you're just trying to upgrade your workflow, when you buy the Creative Console, Logitech actually will give you a free three-month subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud as well. So you're able to access Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, all the other tools that they offer all for free for three months, which is crazy because we all know how expensive Adobe gets. Logitech was super kind to partner with me on this video, which low-key has been a dream come true because I have been a diehard Logitech fan for so long. So thank you Logitech for supporting my content. And if you're a creative professional like me and you've been wanting to try out some new tools, these two are my absolute holy grails and I cannot recommend them enough. One thing all my friends know about me is that I am an avid journaler. I journal every single day and I love the feeling of putting pen to paper. For that reason, I have a ton of different notebooks. I have scrapbooks, morning pages journals, the list goes on and on. I recently did create a video talking about my entire journaling ecosystem. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have it linked in the cards above and in the description. But for me, it's super important that all of the tools that I use, including the notebooks and the pens that I use, feel like something I want to use. The tools that we use should inspire us and motivate us because there's no point in purchasing any type of tool if you feel like you're not going to want to consistently use it. My Paper Republic journals are some of my most prized possessions, not only because of the fine craftsmanship and how beautifully they're made, but also because they hold some of my most important notebooks. For a long time, I would just carry multiple notebooks with me wherever I go, but after I discovered the Paper Republic system, it completely changed how I organize my notebooks. So the whole point is that you have this beautiful beautiful leather cover that actually allows you to hold multiple notebooks at a time. So instead of bringing, let's say three or four notebooks out with me to the cafe, I'm just bringing my one cover that contains three or four notebooks inside. It's really easy to swap the notebooks out. I have different covers for different purposes. They have just changed how I see my notebooks. The two that I use the most are my A6 portfolio, which contains my pocket notebook and my brain dump notebook, and my A5 portfolio, which contains my daily journal, my business journal and an ideas book. With that being said, I love every single one of my Paper Republic covers. And if you're somebody who already has built that journaling habit, or you're somebody who just is looking for a beautiful journal that will inspire you to write, I'll have them linked below. When it comes to my health and fitness, that is one area of my life that I've been slowly trying to improve bit by bit. And so earlier this year, I actually made the switch from the Aura Ring over to the Ultra Human Ring. The main reason I decided to try a new ring was actually because I lost my Aura Ring while I was traveling. But I will say I am really, really enjoying my Ultra Human Ring. And now that I've used both for quite some time, I have some thoughts. My favorite thing about the Ultra Human Ring is that you do not have to pay a subscription to access your stats. I think it's kind of criminal that you have to pay 
for your Aura Ring, and then you have to pay a monthly subscription just to get your own health stats. I love the Ultra Human model where they'll give you all of your critical stats for free within the app after you purchase your ring. And they do have some paid features, don't get me wrong. So they have like booster packs that you can buy that give you additional details on certain statistics about your body, but they're really actually not necessary. They're only for the people who are really curious about getting into the nitty gritty, but the stats that they do give you for free covers everything you could actually need. The most important things that I track are my sleep, my temperature and my heart rate. I love the cycle tracker and the stress tracker as well. All of these stats you do get within the free subscription. And beyond that, you can actually drill down into those individual stats as well and give yourself more detail. I also really like their sleep alarm feature. So as you're tracking your sleep throughout the night, you can actually set an alarm and tell Ultra Human what time you wanna wake up by. So let's say I wanna wake up by 7 a.m., but I wanna make sure that I'm getting four full cycles of sleep in. So Ultra Human will actually track your sleep cycles as you sleep. And then as it gets closer, Closer to 7 a.m. it's gonna try to wake you up at a point where you're at light sleep already so that you're not breaking through like one of your REM cycles just to wake up. That way you're waking up feeling a lot more rejuvenated, refreshed, rather than feeling like you're fighting for your life just to be awake. My only gripe with my Ultra Human ring is that the Aura ring does organize their stats better. So Ultra Human as a company actually has other products that you could purchase as well that pertain to your health. So the app itself is encompassing of all of those products, meaning all of my ring stats on the app is just within one tab. So in order to find certain stats, I just have to scroll down until I find it. And I do wish they either let you customize like the layout of that page or just have it more organized in like a table of contents or something so that I can more easily drill down into what I want to see. But other than that, I've been absolutely loving my Ultra Human Ring. It has helped me sleep better. It has helped me pay more attention to how my body is responding to stress. It has just been really, really great for tracking my health. So if you've been undecided about the two, I would go with the Ultra Human. Lately, because I have so many projects running all at once from growing this YouTube channel to building my social media, to building my personal brand, to building kinship with my co-founder, Aki Flow has kept me from going insane. I've talked about them a lot on my channel before, but they're essentially a calendar that is built for people who time block. So no more trying to figure out how to do it in Google Calendar, Aki Flow makes it easy for you. My favorite feature has to be that you can integrate any of your productivity tools to bring the task into Aki Flow. So so I personally connected to Notion. I have it connected so all of my different dashboards, whether it's for kinship or work or socials, gets pulled into AkiFlow's inbox. So I don't have to move any of the tasks into the inbox in AkiFlow and I can just schedule them out into my calendar. They recently launched their AI feature as well, which has been really fun to play with. You can use it to prioritize tasks. So I'll actually go in and color code your tasks based on whether they're high priority, medium priority, or low priority. And you can talk to their AI to schedule out certain time blocks or tasks. So you can ask it, when do I have time for a one hour meeting with my co-founder? It's gonna figure out the best time in your calendar for that thing. There's tons of other features that make prioritization and scheduling so much easier. So you can filter by different projects. You can create three different types of time blocks, whether it's a task, an event, or a time block that is filled with tasks. And you can even schedule meetings by sending out your availability in a calendar format to anyone you want to have a meeting with. AccuFlow has pretty much completely changed how I use my calendar and how I time block. And if I was somebody that lived by my calendar before, now I really cannot live without it. The last tool is actually what I've been using to quietly build out my digital garden. If you haven't heard of digital gardens before, they're essentially a website that you create that becomes your knowledge base. So it shows all of your ideas and then it shows the process of you building those ideas into essays and larger articles. I am somebody who always will be a lifelong learner because I believe that as soon as we stop learning, we stop growing. So in order for me to organize everything that I am learning, all the topics that I'm interested in, I put all the notes into Obsidian, which is the tool, and that allows me to create a database of my knowledge. There are two features about Obsidian that make it the perfect knowledge base tool. One is bi-directional linking, which means when you link a page from another page, you'll be able to go 
into that second page and see the original page that you linked it from. This is really helpful because as my brain is working and I'm building on ideas, maybe I'm learning about marketing, but then maybe I have a piece about social media. I can connect those two pages and know, okay, social media is related to my overall marketing ideas and maybe digital ads are also related to my overall marketing ideas. So everything kind of fits into this ecosystem or bubble that ties those topics together. The other feature that I love is this visual aspect that actually shows you the ties between your topics. It essentially maps out how my brain works, which is so cool to see in a visual diagram. So you can see all of my ideas and then the ideas that they are connected to. And then you can actually navigate your digital garden through this visual view as well. I have started to publish some of my digital garden and I will publish more and more. So if you want to check out what I've been learning or thinking about or how I've been working, you can find that website down below. So those are the six tools that have completely changed the way I work and all of them have added up to becoming this like holy grail system that I feel like I can't live without. I hope you're able to find some inspiration on how you can optimize your workflow and your processes as well. I know that not all tools are going to work for every single person, but these are all the tools that I have tried, I've tested over a long period of time and genuinely have integrated into my workflow. I think the key thing to remember is the best productivity tools and systems are the ones that you actually use. It's the ones that actually address your pain points and make your life easier. So if I can give you any advice, I'd recommend just picking one of the tools that I've mentioned in this video, setting out maybe 30 minutes to an hour in your week and really trying it out to see if it's something that could work for you. By focusing on just implementing one tool at a time, you'll actually be creating meaningful improvements to your workflow that motivate you to continue to optimize and continue to grow. I'd love to know if you've tried any of these tools yourself, or if you haven't, which tool seems the most interesting to you. Also, if you want me to talk more about the things that I am loving, let me know in the comments down below as well, and I can make a follow-up for this video. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!